everybody. Another Friday with Father Scott. Uh, I'm going to share with you again the gospel for the uh, 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time for July the 3rd. It's amazing how quickly time is moving, moving, moving on. So um, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him, but if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The 72 returned rejoicing. They said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan falling like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love that last line. Rejoice instead because... Your names are written in heaven. Um, I've been doing a lot of weddings and funerals these days, uh, not only here at the parish, but in uh, other locations around uh, uh, the city and have uh, observed the, the power of God's word and the power of God's love that touches the hearts of so many people uh, and, and what that does. And I think part of that, that power that we have, we, we really don't realize until we begin to engage others uh, about the kingdom of God. When we start to proclaim it or preach it or somebody that we remember revealed it to us by their example or their love to us. It's a, it's a powerful power that is given uh, to us and we're called to share it with those around us. You know, I, I would be one of those rejoicing that even the demons are subject, you know, watch what I can do. But that's not the reason to rejoice. But rejoice because, you know, our name, my name is written in heaven. So a very powerful, beautiful gospel that touches us on this 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time on the 3rd of July when many of us will find ourselves maybe at the lake or on vacation. And it also marks that point during the summertime when, you know, we start to say, we've got, we've got to get ourselves ready for school. And uh, July the 4th will be Monday, and then boom, 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 boom. We'll remember and celebrate uh, so many things related uh, to that. So... While you're with your family and friends uh, this weekend, uh, maybe, may this gospel resonate within you, touch your heart. And uh, until we meet again, keep an eye out for your neighbors and friends, especially in all the heat that we are experiencing these days. So God's blessing on you and have a wonderful 4th of July. Take care.